This is Twit. Two days ago, day before yesterday, on Sunday, March 23rd, the original personal genomics company, 23andMe, filed for protection under Chapter 11 of the Bankruptcy Act. Their press release had the headline, 23andMe initiates voluntary Chapter 11 process to maximize stakeholder value through court-supervised sale process. Now, I'm mentioning this here from a personal privacy standpoint um, because now might be a good time for anyone worried about the future of any of their genetic data being held by 23andMe to delete it from 23andMe's databases and to close their account. Uh, as a founding member of 23andMe, I just did exactly that. I have a picture in the show notes of the little pop-up that I received saying, your data is being deleted. We've received your confirmation to delete your data, and we're in the process of deleting your data. Your account will no longer be accessible and will be deleted per your request. For any further assistance, contact customer care. Um, since it took me some poking around their website, I recorded the process to make it easier for anyone who might wish to do the same. You know, I spit in their test tube long ago, and I'm not in a panic about it. But given that they're going under and someone I don't know will be purchasing their assets for pennies on the dollar, leaving my genetic data behind in their database seems unlikely to do me any good at this point. So I logged in, selected settings under my that, that you know shadow head and shoulders icon in the upper right of the page. Once that page came up, which I thought it was interesting, it took a while. I've not used their site a lot, so I don't know if it's always been slow. Maybe there's just a lot of people doing this at the moment. It's, so I, I may have not the case. <laughs> I may have not been alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So then scroll to the very bottom of the page to the 23 uh, after you click on settings un, under there and that file that page finally comes up, go to the very bottom under the 23 and me data section, then click the view button. Now, when I did that, I noted that the view page has a clean looking URL. There's no subscriber specific gobbledygook in the URL. So, uh, it looks like it takes you directly to the page. It's u y o u dot twenty three and me dot com slash user slash edit slash records. Um, alternatively, I wanted to make that easier for people. So after logging in, you could just use the GRC shortcut link I created to jump directly to the Sayonara page. It's GRC. Dot sc slash bye bye <laughs> good, b y e b y e but you have to be logged in for that you to gotta, do anything yeah log yeah. in first and after you're logged in at 23 and me grc dot sc slash bye bye did you -E download your -E. uh, genome before you deleted the data or do you you know i i selected all those things to download everything yeah uh but what but are you then, gonna do with it Right. Well, exactly. Well, exactly. And because I, I got plenty of saliva for the future. So <laughs> I've, I'm generating it, you know, with great alacrity. So it's not a problem. Uh, it takes time for them to get the data to you. They said, okay, we've received, I mean, I, I checked all those things and I, and I queued myself up and it said, once we get your data assembled, we'll send you a link to, uh, in your registered email. And then you click on that in order to get it. And I just thought, oh, screw it. I don't care. Get me out of here. Yeah. So, you know, I just, I deleted my, uh, my, all my data and my account before I had a chance to receive any of that. So, yeah. so you can, they, they, they will send you all your reports. You're able to download your raw genetic data in its entirety, you know, your entire, you know, DNA, uh, uh, readout and, and, and you, so you could wait for that and then delete your, your data. But I just figured, you know, if I need to spit in a tube somewhere else, I'll do that. Uh, I actually, uh, I actually have done it uh, elsewhere, 
One of the things, one of the issues with 23andMe is it doesn't actually do a full genome. It, uh, it does a weird like statistical analysis of a small part of your genome. I had uh, the father of modern genomics on uh, triangulation a couple of years ago, George Church, and he has uh, his own company, Nebula Genomics. It's more expensive than 23andMe, but it's the full genome. Hmm. And you can download it. It's gigabytes of data and then cool. send it off to, there are many companies now springing up saying, oh, we'll analyze, if you have your genome, we can analyze it for you know certain diseases yeah. and so forth. My, my sense is this is only going to get better with time. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, and I'm carrying my genome around with me. You I'm, got not, it. <laughs> I'm not in any danger <laughs> of, of, lo of, of losing it. Yeah. So, Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below. Security Now.